Hello everyone, welcome back to the Backrooms Explained series, which of course is the series where I give an entire video to explaining a single level in the Backrooms. Today I'm going to be going over a level that's similar to the Snack Rooms, level 6.1. Except here, you should not eat the food that is displayed in front of you because they are made out of meat. That's all I'll say for now. It's level 67, or the Bakery of Desire, and let's get into the explanation, shall we? Go check out my third channel, Spoogly. Just uploaded an absolute banger, 30 minutes long. The creepypastas that raise the generation, check it out. Level 67 is the 68th Backrooms level, and it was discovered when a wanderer was on level 11, and they randomly started to smell baking bread, so they followed that smell, they found an out-of-place door, and they went inside of it, and they were here. This was their first mistake. The level takes the appearance of a bakery from the 1980s, with a very chill vibe and aura. The actual level itself is pretty small, at around 2,000 square feet, so you don't have to worry about getting lost inside, you just have to worry about possibly never leaving. The interior of the bakery changes colors and vibe and layout depending on who is here. It can change itself in other ways also. For example, it'll produce pastries and smells that the wanderer who is in line enjoys. So if you like croissants, then the level will have croissants. This is a really weird phenomenon that happens through a lot of Backrooms levels, and we have no idea how it knows all this stuff about us, uh, but it just does. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the level has been nicknamed the Bakery of Desire. And you'll see what I mean by desire here in a second. Uh, just remember to not trust any of the food here, and don't eat it if you're given food. The rest of the level can be explained into three different parts. The waiting line, the counter, and then the eating area. So the waiting line is the part, of course, where you get in line for your food. Now you're not going to be waiting in line behind other people, you'll actually be waiting behind facelane entities, which are of course the main entity here. Now the facelanes here are passive, and they don't really do too much, but they're obviously kind of creepy to look at, and you could make them mad if you try to cut them in line or something like that, so just don't do that. And that's the only rule here. If you do, uh, they'll return to their normal aggressive state and start to freak out and attack you, so just wait your turn in line, and you should be pretty good, I would say. Once you get to the counter, you'll place your order to the facelane cashier in front of you, and then the cashier will actually give you the order in a second, but first, it will try to persuade you to get a certain pastry that they like. Like, they'll give you their suggestion, but try not to take it if you can, because we don't really know what they're made out of. We have an idea! but we don't really know. Now, the actual food on this level has some really strange properties that you should know about, and it seemingly makes people behave weird. Eating food, pastries, donuts, whatever's on this level, will cause you to start behaving erratically, and you'll start to crave that food. It'll make people like Squidward was when he figured out that he actually liked Krabby Patties, you know, when he was eating them all and stuff. Yeah, that's what you'll be like. You'll try to eat all the food. And this might be because of the theory that I'm gonna say right now. So you'll start to crave these pastries after you eat a bite of one, and if you start to feel this craving, you need to escape the level. Now, the document of the level says, quote, Note that occasionally, the effect of the desire to indulge on those favorites may lead to fellow wanderers in the level acting erratically, and make attempts to simply retrieve those pastries without waiting in line. It is best not to interfere. They will promptly be disposed of subsequent to the event. I'm not really sure what disposed of of means, but it sounds like they get rid of people who get affected by this. Now, how do they get rid of people, you may be asking? It makes me kind of think that these pastries might have a secret ingredient in them, if you know what I'm saying, a secret ingredient that may or may not be meat. Um, not animal meat, though. Maybe just wanderer meat, but that's just a theory, a backrooms theory. After you order and get whatever pastry you did ask for, you'll be able to walk to the seating area, which is a liminal-looking diner place with booths and chairs and calm lights and whatnot, just like an old diner. This area is only visible after you pay for your food and after you order, and before you pay, you physically just can't see it. And in order to pay for your pastry, you have to give almond water to the cashier. So I've explained the level layout, I've explained what might be inside the food, but now I'm going to talk about the possible side effects that you could get 
from eating the pastries with the secret ingredient inside of them. The effects in this level will vary from wanderer to wanderer, and before you eat anything, you should know what these effects are. So if you order your favorite pastry, which is the pastry that the level thinks that you like the best, if you order that, it is the worst one you can do. It is the most deadly. Because when you're closer than from a foot away from that pastry, a nearly irresistible urge to eat the pastry will flood you. You just get this huge impulse to just dig right into that delicious food. You have to deny this impulse because once it's ingested, certain effects will occur as follows. In the first five minutes, you'll start to inflame and you'll start to get a sore throat. And 10 minutes after, you'll get gastritis. 12 minutes in, you'll get extreme erythroderma. 20 minutes in and after, you'll just pretty much go into cardiac arrest. Eating a donut can give you cardiac arrest in the back rooms. You heard it here first, folks. Now, it's important to note here that after a person succumbs to eating their favorite pastry, one of the workers that works in this bakery will come out from behind the counter and drag the wanderer to the back room where the kitchen is. And when this happens, the clerk and the worker that dragged the body back will vanish into the back kitchen. And we don't really know what happens back there, but we can assume that your body's being used for something. Now, if you eat a neutral pastry or something that you kind of like, but you don't really like, then nothing really bad will happen to you. You'll not feel this impulse to eat it, and you won't have any negative effects if you do. So try to find something that you kind of like, but don't really like at the same time. The only problem is these pastries are really rare because normally the level tries to give you the ones you like, but yeah. Then there are the least favorite or hated pastries, and these are actually the safest options to eat. And if you want to get out of the level, you have to order one of these that you don't like and then eat it because that is the only way out. But it should be noted that the effects caused by the pastry that you don't like can lead the wanderer to believe that the smell and the look and the taste of the dessert is actually far worse than it seems, like there's something hidden inside of it. Some have reported to have the smell and taste of rotten flesh when they eat these pastries. It'll take a really strong person to overcome these thoughts, you know, you're eating flesh, but you have to do it to get out of the level, so... But yeah, that's kind of like the duality of decision making there. But the second you eat a pastry that you don't like, even though it's got some kind of rotten meat inside, you will be transported to either level 11, level 31, level 57, or level 98, and you'll just be slightly sick. So yeah, if you see someone unalive, or if you somehow unalive yourself in this bakery and a worker comes out to get you and drags you to the back room, um, you probably know what's gonna happen because the level document pretty much confirms my theory from earlier that the things inside of these pastries might not really be pastry stuff. It might be, uh, well, you can infer, I can't really say. I mean, I hope this isn't the case, but why else would they take wanderers to the back room where the cooking is done? My full theory is that eating pastries causes you to go insane, which it pretty much confirmed it in the level document, and it's because of the rotten flesh that is integrated inside of them. It causes you to crave more and more until you eat too much and there's no going back. After this, the level will trap you in it, and once you are alive, you yourself will become part of a beautiful pastry, and you'll get dragged to the back kitchen, and, uh, you know, you can infer. I don't know, though. That's just my theory. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm interested. To enter this level, for some unknown reason, you have to do what they did at the beginning, and you have to smell bread baking on level 11, and walk around till you find the door to get here. But remember, that's the way the level lures you here and traps you, is that bread smell, so try to avoid that if you can. So, how can you escape? You actually have to eat the pastry that you hate, as I mentioned, on purpose, even though it tastes like rotting flesh, you have to eat it, and then you'll get sent out to one of the levels that I mentioned earlier, level 11, 31, 57, or 98. If you don't do this, you'll be stuck here in a cycle of eating, becoming more insane, until you become one with the pastry. Nice. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more Backrooms content and Liminal Space content here on the channel. Also, check out Spoogly if you're interested in mystery uh, internet stuff and Toogly for reactions and streams and gaming and that kind of thing as well. I love you all. Appreciate you all. Um, I might be at a million when I post this video. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm like uh, 5k away right now. So if that's the case, love y'all so much. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm sure I've done a special by now, but thank you. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.